Right guys, today we're going to do another Rare Ninja book. I'm calling them books, but some are magazines. But you might have noticed, for those who follow me, the wood pile is going down. I'm preparing to move. So um, my missus and her parents were all selling up and buying in together and hopefully going to build or refurbish a barn stroke house. So that's why the famous wood, which everybody knows, is going to go down now and I've swapped that over that side. Right, so to keep you followers up to date... <coughs> Um, right, this one, Ninja Magazine, the original Ninja Magazine, episode 28, or edition 28, um, December 1987. Who dares wins? Winning with shadow sorcery, the ninja spirit of England's SAS. Look, he's smashing the camera and he's got an AK-47 or something on his back. Oh, no, no, it's an H, is it H, Heckler and Koch, I think. He's got his upside down dagger from, I think, Commando was out at the time. It's like pulling it this. And there's a, oh, it's, it's an Islamic military base that he's sort of attacking. Oh, aren't we glad we changed the ninja? Chuck Norris is in there. So, oh, we've got Gembu Khan. So... The Gembu Khan Ninja. So, oh my God, Stephen Hayes shooting a rifle from... Um, I wonder how many magazines Stephen Hayes has been in. Robert Bussey. Is Robert Bussey still alive? I have, I've spoke to Ashida Kim. I've spoke to Stephen Hayes. I spoke to loads of people. But I've never spoke to Robert Bussey. Is anybody telling him to get in touch with me? I'd love to get in touch with him. Um, when the Ninja... Who's this chap? Um... I'm not quite sure who that, that chap is. Do we know? I did one yesterday video and it turns out it was the guy from Octagon and I didn't know that. I don't research these beforehand, guys. I'm given this stuff and I literally sort of, um, what's the word? Oh, back in the day when toxic masculinity was awesome. Just get a body. Be a ninja. <laughs> magazines. So I did uh, an interview for a men's magazine and it was about how men should cry. <laughs> I haven't, hasn't the world changed? So, I'm just right. The 1988 Ninja Calendar. Oh, do you remember? We've got here Ashida Kim, Ninja Mind Control and everything. I wonder if Ashida Kim had to put that advert in or whether... It's Paladin Press, so I assume Paladin Press did it. Um, there's some... I think there's a lot of Bujinkan stuff here. Um... So shadow sorcery. Deception led to the death with the ninja arts of shadow sorcery. Boom. Um uh, to be honest, oh Uzi semi-automatic pistol, only five dollars with some pellets. How awesome is that? Um Charles Daniel. Now Charles Daniel, he did the book, didn't he? If I remember right. That's almost exactly like the spear I've got. Um Charles Daniel. I've never spoke to him either. I'm sure he did the book on thingy. The Ninja Spirit of SAS. Right? Um, my God. Pistols. Oh, do you remember that? Do you remember Pray for Death? I only watched it the once, you know, because you used to get it from the VHS shop. Oh, my God. The poster comes out in the middle. That is awesome. A Muslim invading, or in person, a ninja invading Muslims who has the spirit of the SAS with him, killing... <laughs> I don't know why he's killing the camera. The camera's surely just seen him. So it's a bit weird. So the fifth annual Kogaryu Seminar. Who ran that? Who used to run the annual Kogaryu Seminars? I don't know. Hmm. Hold on, sorry guys. So, right, some archery. Oh, some, some, I think it's a, they get a story, I think. Yeah, fiction by Angie Mass. I don't know who Angie Mass is. Right, guys, here we go. So you can buy ninja stuff. I am arguing to the death of certain people out there, friendly people, about how this, we should never train in this. And you know, guys, I'm a stickler. As much as this can be replicated, you can find it in old Japanese texts. Somebody dressed in black. It isn't the Taiwan machine done, you know. If you were to walk down the road like that in ancient Japan, they'd be like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Deadly hunter moving like a shadow through the art of stealth. Invisible prey. 
Um, ah, cre do you know, creeping past windows, that's actually not far from um, actual real ninjutsu. Um, in fact, a lot of this is, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's, all right. I can't, I've got... Oh, there's some interesting comics here, guys. Stay with me. It's just the pages are hard to turn now. Not in that way, like... So Alex Hammond gave me this. He's one of the students of my school. He really supports me, Alex. He sends me money and donations time. And he's now given me these. So uh, he's been a superb chap, is our Alex. Uh, Alex Hammond, everyone. He did me this one and yesterday. So the adventures of Tamashi, the confrontation. I don't know who's wrote this, but it's a comic strip of ninja stuff. So that's quite cool. That's quite cool. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm dying of COVID. Not really. Um, I don't have COVID, guys. I just have a cough. So more on it's to be continued. That's really actually quite good. More advertisements. More ninja uniforms. Show me you just buy ninja uniforms. And I had that. I had that very bored with the shuriken. For you Americans, shuriken were actually um, banned in the UK because... Because we're from England, we decided to lob them each other at football matches. <laughs> it was the 1980s and it was massive football, sort of like hooliganism was massive. Like people were killing each other and they started just taking shurikens and throwing them. We used to be able to buy all sorts in England, knives like that. So uh, I was talking to Krista Jacobson really recently and she was like, mm, do you do concealed carry with a gun in England? Now, the English people are going to be laughing the tits off. And the Americans are going to be like, what are you laughing at? Concealed carry. You're not even allowed a knife over this big. Or if you even that, you're illegally allowed to carry a flick knife. Or not a flick knife, but a knife that pulls out that does not lock. That is this big. So you, in case of anything, nobody carries one. Because the police are just... Because there's a law that says if your intent is a bit weird, they'll do you for having a, a phone. You know what I mean? Intent. Because English law is based on intent. Oh, should I ask the black belt barrister? But there are legal knives to carry. But um, it was that funny, like, so I forgot where I was going with this little story, but, you know, stay with it. Anyway, um, so uh, we don't have... I just forgot where I was going. Never mind. So we don't have them sort of weapons anymore in England. It's just it's just done. So that is the Ninja, the original Ninja magazine and from Alex Hammond to add to the collection. I am asking people from all over the world if you have any um, old magazines old ninja books that you don't want um can you please send them to me i can't afford to buy them and i might be able to put in for postage but people are kindly just paying and sending them to me because i'm going to make the biggest collection of ninja uh, memorabilia in the world and hopefully donate it to a year a museum in the end let's get i'm going to hopefully one day speak to the japanese and say would you like to open a ninja museum or something like that but i need the kit first and then i'm going to approach or i will if i get to the end of my life i will give it to sort of the british museum and say this is the work i've done this is what i've done and at least it'll go in storage and these magazines won't get put in the bin so that's alex hammond everyone thank you very much it'll stay in its protective case until i've finished i know chris has got a good collection as well <coughs> chris has got a nice collection which i'm gonna get in the end right guys my book of bushido is literally out now or within the next few weeks so do get a copy of that and i'll catch up with you soon <laughs>